Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Horace and you're watching Possible Now. And today guys, as you know, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered version is out on PC and many of the player face different kind of error and crashes issues in their game. So that's why I decided to make make a video on this and uh, today I'll guide you about that how you can fix all kind of these crashes like uh, if you play your game on the low end PC and you face different kind of uh, crashes error like GPU not spotting or insufficient memory error something went wrong kind of crashes so don't worry just watch the video till the end and if you're in this channel kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so we first of all uh, talk about the minimum system requirement uh, for this game uh, so you can see the minimum system requirement on the screen and don't worry even if your PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirement there are few steps that can help you to run this game properly so just follow my lead and uh, first of all we need to install our game on an SSD or NVMe drive not on your local um, drive because modern games can run best on SSD or NVMe drive so try to install your game uh, in these drives and after that guys the next thing is we need to verify our game file so this step is really uh, important so simply open your steam account find your game right click on your game go to properties and uh, click on install files options and click on verify integrity of game files so guys uh, in case your game files are missing or crappy then this step will fix your issue so you just need to wait for it and once the verification is complete then uh, relaunch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and the next thing is we need to uh, update our graphics drivers so for this we need to open the nvidia geforce experience for nvidia user first and go to the driver section here and simply click on check for updates and it will uh, automatically download and install the latest drivers in your system and uh, for amd user guys you can do the same step in your red on software and once it's done the next thing is we need to install the latest DirectX and visual distribution files in our system so for this we need to visit the official website of DirectX and uh, download the latest DirectX in your system so I already downloaded the latest DirectX here is the setup accept the agreement click to next install the bin bar it's optional so it's up to you click to next and wait for it maybe take some time so don't panic and just after a few minutes it's done click to finish and get back and I move to the visual retribution folder and uh, visit the official website of visuals and download all the visual files in your system so here is the patch file run this patch file and it will automatically install all the visual files in your system you just need to wait for it click to yes click to ok and rather of these steps it will automatically perform so guys uh kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and just follow my screen instruction and you just need to be patient and just follow my lead and just after a few minutes it's done now guys the pack steps are complete and now move to the next step and now we need to remove uh, free our CPU memory from the task manager so open your task manager and check your CPU memory from here and in the processes section you need to uh, remove some kind of applications or programs that takes your CPU memory because sometimes due to heavy load on your CPU the game crashes and you face different kind of errors um, in your game so we need to find these kind of application that takes our CPU memory right click on that kind of programs and and task it and once your CPU space is free then uh, try to relaunch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and uh, the next thing is we need to uh, close some background applications so go to your research bar here in here you need to type settings go to your settings go to the privacy section here and in general there are four options one two three four turn off all of them down below go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in your background my background apps are already turned off get back and i'll go to the gaming section here and uh, turn off your game bar option capture setting turn it off and only enable your game mode here and after that we need to remove some junk or bad files in our system so for this we need to press window key plus r and here we need to use some commands like the first one is prefetch p r e f e t c h it's the first command uh, press 
hit enter control a select all and delete all of these files and your system skip the step and again press window key plus r and this time and this time we use the second command percentage temp temp again percentage press ok control a select all and delete all of these bad files in your system and don't worry these all are like jungle bad files so simply delete these files and once you delete these files from here you need to remove these files also from the recycle bin so guys after that the next thing is we need to run our game uh, as an administrator so navigate to the game installation directory and right click on your game.exe file click properties go to the compatibility tab and enable run as administrator option and check run in compatibility mode try windows 8 windows 7 uh, different kind of options and disable the full screen optimization click to apply click to ok and relaunch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and the next thing guys is we need to allow our game through the antivirus so open windows defender firewall and allow an app through firewall add the last of us uh, .exe file and ensure both private and public network boxes are checked and the last thing guys is we need to adjust in game settings so display mode use full screen or mode borderless spindle mode and uh, upscaling set to fsr or dlws if available and graphics preset uh, try to set your settings like low or medium for uh, low and pc gamers and uh, turn off uh, some settings like motion blur depth of field and screen space reflections uh, especially if you play your game on your low end pc and enable the nvidia reflex uh, low latency mode and resign turn it off because it can cause input lag kind of an issue in your game so guys that's it i hope by applying these simple steps you should be able to run your game properly and now you can play your game without any crash or error and if you found this video helpful kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out